Hey guys, this is the very first video on this channel and I'm going to try to give an overview of what it's going to be and what who it's going to help. Um, this channel is about coding, but it's for beginners. It's for people to bridge a gap between people that don't code or don't think they can code. And I am going to use my experience to show you that you can, why you should, if you have an interest in it. So. If you read this book and you do some YouTube uh, searches on the exponential organizations, they are basically saying that the new companies, the new software, all the new businesses are going to be software based. Every company is an IT company. The future is information. Everything is being digitized. One of the things they mention in this book and in the videos are that we used to have this problem where we had uh, photos. You'd take a photo uh, and you'd have to take it down to the photo mart. You'd have to wait a few days. Then you get some paper back and then you have maybe 15 photos, 20 photos, 30. And so every photo that you would take would be very precious and very expensive. Well, now the new, the new model is that you can take a video or pictures. You can take thousands of pictures, put them on digital, digital uh, disc or uh, SD card or something and then now that we have a different problem you have thousands of photos but you can't find any that you need it's the same with your phone you have thousands of photos but you can't find any that you need the problem the problem space has shifted and that's what where you're going to come in um, as a coder you're going to be ready for the changes that happen and they're going to happen very rapidly and what we're looking at in exponential organizations, and let me give a little summary of what that is. The old way of doing business, which we've been doing for 100 years, has been linear. Uh, linear growth, um, cubicles, uh, going to work every day, uh, stability, um, expectations where, where everything had an expectation to it that your job will be there tomorrow, that you knew where you were going, you had one skill it would last for a long period of time. All of that is being shifted. Your skills are being degraded all the time now because of the, the rapid, the exponential growth of technology has gotten so ridiculous that every skill that you have right now and every skill that your employees may have is being, becoming obsolete before your eyes. And so the new, in this new world, in this new marketplace, your skills are not going to be what you know. They're going to be what you are able to learn. And so we're even seeing with the new hiring practices that the resume, as, a, as we used to know it, is changing. It's not what did you know, where, where have you been, what's your GPA and all that. It's you'll be tested on how fast you can learn and your resiliency. How tough are you? How open-minded are you? These are the new skills of the new world that we're entering, the new information age. Um, that's going to be, and I'm telling you right now, it is exponential. We are about to see things to dramatically change. Um, on my person, my own company right now, the one I work for, it's a corporation. We are transforming right now into an exponential organization. Now, that's not going to work very well, or I won't say it won't work very well. It won't work very easily at first. We're already seeing well, we've got these old AS400s, these old mainframes. How are we going to change these into a Google type or face, Facebook type exponential growth company? So these are the things that we're seeing right now. But this channel is about the future. This channel is going to tell you why you need to code, the careers you can have. And I have a 15 years experience as a coder, a developer, software developer. Um, I found my path through the Microsoft products, which would be Visual Studio, VB.net, c -sharp.net, SQL Server. All of these skills are programming skills. They translate to other languages, but the jobs that I have had have been in Microsoft focus. Most companies use Microsoft, and that's where this channel is going to start out with. We may branch into other things and other languages, Python, Ruby on Rails and things, but we're going to start out with C Sharp, Microsoft products, and uh, there's another language I wanted, Python. We might start with Python, actually. But what's going to be different about this is we're going to step through this very slowly. We're going to be like, here's the basics. Here's what you need to know to be a coder. Here's 
what you need to think about if you're thinking about being a coder. You may not want to be a coder. You may not want to be a software de developer. A lot of people I knew got into software development as a means to get a management job or move on. So they got into the company as a coder or developer. A few, few years later, they became managers or business analysts or technical writers or, you know, you can branch out. There's different ways that you can work this, but the code will get you in the door. The code, the knowledge, the structure of how a program works. And the thing is, and I'm going to be honest here, I'm not that smart. I have reasonably uh, above average intelligence, but there are coders out there that will kick my butt any day. They're way better than me, but I have a lot of experience. I've seen so many things happen. I've seen so many code, code bugs. I've seen so many um, database errors. I've seen so many things. I can see them coming before while I'm programming. I can see them coming. Oh, well, you're, you know, this, this is going to have a null value. So I have to check, is it null before, you know, all that sort of stuff. I can see problems before they happen. That's where my value is. And that's where your value is going to be as a coder. You're going to at least know what's behind the scenes, what's going to go on behind the scenes, even if you don't want to be a coder. Now, if you do want to be a coder, I'm going to get you started. We're going to branch into coding. Uh, we're going to start with some very basic topics and then it's going to go more, more in one direction, uh, more detail and more detail. And then you can take what you've learned and your confidence, and expand on it. And what you'll do is you'll, you're, what you're doing with the program, and I'm gonna talk about this more in the next video. This is more of an introduction, but you have to decide why are you programming? Always the reason is you're solving a problem or you're automating something. So what you'll be doing, you can use in your own life. I have problems every day on my normal, normal videos and everything that I can solve with programming. I can copy files over faster. I can do all sorts of things with programming. So this is going to get you started. This is the introduction. Um, anyone can program. You can program. My mother can program. My dad, my dad's 82 years old and he's still building websites. They're not very good, but, but he does it and he asks for my help. Um, and he knows just enough to make his website and to get his product out there and get, get some leads and so forth. But that's where this uh, project is going. Uh, please give me some feedback. If you want to know something specific, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to start out with Python. Uh, it's a it's a free language. You can download it. Everything is free. It's very easy. To, it's not easy to learn, but we can start out with just the basic. I'm just going to start out. What's a variable? What's a loop? What's a, you know, anything that you need to know. And these things will apply to every single other language. Once you learn them, you learn what a variable is. You learn what a loop is. You learn how to read a file, write a file. Once you know these basics, all you have to do is apply them to the next language. So once we get started, you learn one language, you can learn another language. That's where a good experience comes in. Um, if I go into a company and they say, and I'm interviewing, I'm also going to talk about how to interview because I've had tons, tons and tons and tons of interviews. And I've interviewed people. I know what I want to hear. I know what I want to see, so I'm going to make videos about how to interview. Um, but we're going to get your foot in the door. You're going to learn coding. You're going to get started. Um, you're going to get a, uh, learn how, what to say in an interview, what to say when you don't know what to say in an interview, which is just as important. All right, that's the beginning. This is the first video. It's going to be a long journey. I'm hoping to make literally 1,000 videos, maybe 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Depends on how popular it is and where, where the direction goes. But I want to, I'm hoping that this will be a community-based thing where we can share information. I will literally help you code. If you give me a problem that makes sense, that's not super complex, I don't need to know all the background. If you can give me a simple problem, I'm having trouble doing this, I will help you code. And I, I want on the website that I'm creating to have a community where we can talk about a, a non-judgmentally, hey, I have a problem, I don't know what this is, I, I, what's a variable, you know. Even basic problems we can answer on there. All right, that's where this is going. Thank you.